Hi, I'm Leonie from Spines and Splines. Today I've got a short video for you showing you how to degrease a metal plate for etching using some basic household ingredients. Before you put a ground on an etching plate, you need to clean and degrease the surface so that the ground will stick properly to it. There are quite a few different ways that you can do this, but I find this one the simplest and the least toxic. Today I'm cleaning a copper plate, but this should also work with other metals. Basically, I put a bit of soy sauce on my piece of copper and I rub it in a circular motion with a piece of rolled up scrap press wool. If you don't have any scrap press wool, you can use a paper towel or a soft clean cloth for this. Soy sauce contains lactic acid, which will break down the tarnish on your plate. A lot of the time soy sauce alone will be enough, but if you have a particularly heavily tarnished plate, you can speed up the process by sprinkling in a small amount of French chalk, talcum powder or calcium carbonate powder. This is a very mild abrasive and it will help clean the plate without scratching it. As you can see here, I'm personally not particularly good at cleaning the plate without touching it. It is best to try and avoid touching the surface of the plate while you're cleaning it, but if you're careful, you can touch it a little bit and clean up those spots as you go. When the plate is clean, carefully give it a rinse under the tap. If you leave the water sitting on the surface, it will start to oxidise again pretty quickly. So dry it straight away with some clean paper towel and a hair dryer if you have one. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and share it. If you've got any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave me a comment. I've listed all the materials that I used today in the description and you'll also find links there for my website my Patreon, my Facebook page, Instagram, and some affiliate links to art stores where you can buy materials. Thanks for watching. Cheers.